Oh my goodness, hi! Baby, hi baby, mom. Oh, <laughs> Lousy, we're going home! We're going home! We're going home! Let's go, Lousy. We need to put these inserts in. We were not prepared. <laughs> okay, he's getting sweaty putting the car seat together. She's already, she's wearing the outfit so, Tommy wore home. This is what Tommy wore home is so cute. I remember when we first got married, we picked out this green outfit. And we're like, what do we have a baby? She's for sure wearing that. And now they've both worn it. I don't know how we've kept it. We usually lose everything. I don't know. Wait, how did you do this? We're all loaded in and it's roll Valzy. We're going home. So excited. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Oh yeah, same. Should we stop? Yeah. <laughs> this is actually the song that I gave birth to. It's called Bright Side what by Lil Nas. How did it play right now? Did you turn it on? No. Did and I swear, when we went to their concert, we were on this corner and this band came out. And they sang this song very first, and they were right in front of us, like the main singer. Dude, yeah, what's wrong with in this weird world? Just like in a different. Way. Yeah, it's like our favorite memory ever, and gave birth to it. So we're gonna head home. We're home. Her body's so little. Look how cute. That's oh, cold. She's home. Oh. Welcome home, girl. Let's go show Velzi her room. Do you like it? Do you like it? She's like, I'm hugging Gassy. I think she likes it. She like oh, so cozy. Cozy, girl. Velzi, I'm starving. <laughs> We've just been snuggling and hanging out waiting for Tommy to get here and I think she is about to pull up. So last night she obviously met um, the baby but we're excited to hang out with her and have more time because she didn't meet the baby till like, what time is it? 11.30. It's like 11.30 p.m. and then she had to go so, so, so excited. Jack just fell asleep. Yeah, it's hard not to when you're just always with the sleepy baby. <laughs> she gives off sleep vibes. Hey! <laughs> Come here. Take him in the bubble. Hi! Oh my goodness, hi! Give me her baby, Bob. Oh, <laughs> You want to hold her? Come here. Yeah. Ah, come Are hold her. Are you serious? Is he sleeping? Yeah, Vez, he's sleeping. Tommy, she was so excited to see you. Yes, Show Grandma, Tommy, tell her who it is. It's my baby sister. Yeah, hold it, Mom. You want me to hold it? <laughs> yes. Give her one kiss, one big kiss. Oh, Oh. What was that for, Velzy? That's one's yours, cause that one's a little bit bigger. This one's yours, T. Okay, should we put it on her ankle? My, my, my foot. Okay. Oh, no, bossy foot, no bossy foot. Okay. You just did tiny hands. <laughs> Happy hats. So little, huh? How did you get that off? Cute. Oh, Tommy. look at you and Veldy, you're twins. You're matching. Oh, Veldy's is just a little bit big, but she'll, she'll <laughs> she get a bigger foot soon. Tell him who's here. Dabba. Who else? Bussy. Who's Veldy? Um. Sister? My sister. You're so sweet. No, yeah, we did. Good morning. It's our first morning back home. Waking up in our own house is so nice and refreshing. Tommy had a little bit of a rough time getting to sleep last night because I didn't put her to sleep and because I was feeding the baby. So she got to fall asleep in her bed and then we just transferred her to her own bed. Velzi slept in her little bassinet and woke up probably four times. So it was quite a bit, but um, she just was hungry. So. Anyways, it was snowing the whole night, so every time I woke up to nurse her, like, it was the most beautiful view ever. 
Anyways, I'll show you the current situation. How's the babe? Snuggling. You're snuggling? Yeah. A lot has happened since we've been home from the hospital. Wow. And started filming that video. A lot has happened. So we want to do you a little update on how we've been and some of the things that have happened. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that I had a super gnarly toothache like two days after being home or maybe even a day. Yeah, it was the day after. Yeah, and I was like, this happened with Tommy. There's no way that I need to go get a root canal right now. But like, I just knew in my head like that was going to happen. You knew it. You called it as soon yeah. as you felt it. I was like, I need to get scheduled for root canal. So I'm like barely getting up off my, on my feet and Jack takes me to the dentist. And he's like, we can't do the root canal here. You got to go to a specialist um, to get it done because it's like too go close to the nerve or something. I don't remember. And I was just like, oh no, they're not going to get me in today. Like, I need it done soon. It's so painful. And I was just taking, like, Advil and Tylenol from my C-section. Not really anything harder. I think if I was, it would have masked the tooth pain a little bit. She's crying. Yeah, go get her. Um, anyways, the specialist got me in that day, and I was, like, so amped. But he needed to do a consult first. So I went in to do the consult. They found which tooth it was. And then he was like, I can do this for you right now. I just had someone cancel. And I was like, yes. I was so excited. So I ran downstairs while well, he numbed me first ran downstairs nursed Velzy, came back upstairs and just got it done and I was honestly like so stoked to be numb because it was in there was that painful like I didn't want to talk I didn't want to eat it was so bad Velzy joined the uh hey baby the vlog she was lonely over there <laughs> anyways so that happened and that kind of set us back just a bit but the good things Jax, tell them some of the good things that have happened. Good things. belzy has been an amazing baby. Yeah. She is so chill. She sleeps all day. She sleeps really good at night. For real. She eats really good. She Her feedings are really long. Yeah. With Kenna. She's breastfeeding. And I've been able to pump a lot too, which has been really nice because I just want to like build a milk storage so that we can go out and do things and go on weekend vacations and stuff like that. So... That's all been so good. She hasn't had any issues with like tongue tie or colic or anything, knock on wood. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Your scar is healing good. It's gnarly though. I would say, I don't know how it's You look healing snatched good. as. <laughs> stop. But I. <laughs> Thanks. I. Show them. Come here. Show no. them how. Stop. No. Look how good she looks. One week postpartum. Is that what it's called? <laughs> postpartum. You postpartum. Got it. But I actually went to the doctors because I thought I had an infection in my scar as well. So that was kind of like a crazy thing. That was our first time out of the house with two kids. And Tommy was just like freaking out. Like yeah. would not let me like get in the car. She wanted me to put her in the car. Like it was insane. That and was I was in first so much pain. Just like, yeah. It was hard. I was in so much pain. And then they looked at it and said it was fine. And I guess just part of the process. So I was just like, okay, maybe I'm just a baby. So. I've been back um, a couple times to try to see if they can like take a look at the scar because I've like just been bleeding quite a bit from it, but I think that's normal. So I don't really know what to compare it to, but most days I feel really great. It just flares up sometimes. Um, overall, emotionally, we've been like way better and way more healthy than like with Tommy, I think. Yeah. Don't you think? I think so, yeah. I don't know what I feel it like is. we are less stressed about the stuff that we were stressed with Tommy. Yeah, the little Like stuff. sleeping, yeah, sleeping. She's like a little fussy. It's just yeah. like normal baby sounds with Tommy. When we had Tommy, we were like freaking out every time there was a noise. She coughed and we were like, she's choking. And like, it was yeah. like the biggest deal. It just is like, totally. Different. experience helps a lot. Yes. I used to have so much anxiety at night and I probably should have taken something for it because it was that bad with Tommy. And with her, it's like, 20% of the anxiety I had with Tommy, which is really good. And Jack's been so helpful. Every night we have a good routine where I just stay in bed and he has to like get her out of the bassinet, pass her to me, change her diaper, give me my pump. I pump while I nurse her and then he runs my milk out here, puts it in the freezer. It's just this like routine we do every three down. hours. We've got it down. We need to get a very, like little fridge for our room. That is one thing that we need. Anyways, we just wanted to give you guys a little bit our of an update. Our house is as hot as a sauna. Yes, because her body temperature actually was really low. I'm also in a beanie sweat in a situation. Yeah, what the heck? That's your fault. It's my fault. So, that's our, our little update. There's um, our update. 
we're doing really good, I think, overall. Being that I had some serious surgery a little bit ago. You're a beast. I'm stoked though. And Tommy's been awesome too. And everyone's been taking Tommy to do fun stuff and we're like, yeah, take her, but then we're also like, we miss her, so. We're excited to like have some quality time as a family of four because I feel like we haven't really had that yet. But anyways, just checking in and hope you guys like the video. Our next video will be a day in the life of having a newborn. So I hope you guys like that one too. It should be up in a couple days as well. Bye.